Hello, welcome to Bob's Dungeon. My name's Bob, I'll be your host. When you mention Star Wars to somebody, just about everybody you mention Star Wars to has probably going to have heard of Star Wars. Star Wars is extremely popular, extremely well known. And I guarantee you, probably the first thing that's going to pop in everybody's mind when you mention Star Wars to them is Jedi's, which is kind of sad. Everybody's all Jedi's, Jedi's. Star Wars is only about Jedi's. It's all Jedi's, which is kind of really sad. I'm not a big fan of the Jedi's, and Star Wars is first and foremost a space opera, which really doesn't have a whole lot to do with Jedi's. Space operas have to do, of course, with space, and one of the main parts about them is usually the ships traveling around and blowing each other up and fighting, hence the name Star Wars. And so, anyway, to make Star Wars a space opera, you're going to need spaceships to blow each other up in. So, in this video, we're going to talk about a book for the Wizards of the Coast D20 version of Star Wars to add more ships to your game. We're going to talk about Starships of the Galaxy for Star Wars. This book has 110 pages and a copyright of 2001. It was published by Wizards of the Coast and all of the artwork in this book is in black and white. And it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and look at that artwork. All of the artwork in this book is in black and white. Most of the artwork in this book is drawn pictures. Well, some of it is black and white steals from the movies. But all in all, the artwork in this book is really good and gives you a good idea of what this book is about. It even has a few pages of interior segments so you can plot out the interiors of your starships. To play this game, what you're going to need is of course, a copy of this book, a copy of the core rule book for the Star Wars role-playing game put out by Wizards of the Coast. You also need a full set of dice, which contain a 20-sided die, a 12-sided die, preferably two 10-sided dice, rolling both percentiles and tens, an 8-sided die, 6-sided die, and a 4-sided die. This book is pretty neat. It's got rules in it. For actually constructing and building your own starship from scratch. And it takes everything into account for your starship. Such as the ship size, life support, the automation of the ship, the stowage in the ship, the consumables on the ship, the hyperdrives, the ion engines, the shield generators, the superstructure of the ship and the weapon suites for placing weapons and it even has a lot of weapons for your starships everything from plain ordinary lasers to turbo lasers to photon torpedoes tubes it's got it in here and it gives the cost for everything well it gives the cost for the weapons and all the points of construction on the ships it gives you a construction cost, construction points. And when you get your ship figured out, you add all those together and compare it to a chart, and it'll tell you how much your ship is. Then, of course, add the cost of the weapons. And believe me, it can get really expensive really fast. So you'll want to pay very close attention when designing your ships. If not, your players are going to be paying way out the wazoo for stuff. It also gives information here on how to modify existing ships, which is very cool. Each weapon has a number of implement points, and so your weapon suites tell you how many implement points your ship will have to place weapons. And that covers not only the structural and space area, but the amount of power and stuff that the weapons will draw. So that's pretty nifty. 
It also has a section in here on how to build space stations, which goes over the exact same stuff that the ships do, but get, has a different table for costs and stuff, which is pretty neat. You can build your own space station. Again, super expensive. It's got a section here about the secrets of the shipyards, which basically tells you how different shipyards from different companies and planets work and operate and how many bays they might have open at any time and fees and costs for bribing people and getting your ship modified. It also gives tables in here for the expense of maintenance on your ships which is definitely handy and basically it goes over all this stuff and covers a bit more than what's covered in the core book so you can add a certain level of complexity to the use of your starships in your game. Which is kind of weird. I, I, I like keeping things simple, but it adds some pretty neat stuff. It's also got some new uses for old skills in here. And like new ways to use for forgery and stuff, which is neat. It's also got some brand new feats that you can add to your game. As well as some brand new force feats that you could add to your game. It's also got some brand new prestige classes. Such as the blockade runner, the deep space pilot, the master gunner, and the naval officer. Which the naval officer wound up appearing later on in the revised core rule book. It's also got some notes and clarifications for ship to ship combat in your games. And it's even got a section in here on running adventures in space. So that's pretty handy. And in the back of the book, it's got a big, several big lists of different ships already made and ready to go for your game. Starting with a chapter devoted to starships, like starfighters, a chapter devoted to cargo ships or transports, and a chapter devoted to capital ships. And a very, very small chapter devoted to space stations. It's even got a blank character sheet for starships in the back of the book. So you have a way to keep track of everything on your ship. And it even has some little bitty maps with different sections for ships that you could use to, as a kind of modular thing, to lay out the interior of a ship. Which is very neat. I like that. But all in all, it's pretty nifty. Which brings me to three questions. Would I use the information in this book for a ship my character would pilot? Absolutely. One of my favorite aspects in Star Wars is the whole traveling around in space bit. So, I like playing characters in the underworld, particularly smugglers and so forth. So, yeah, I would definitely use information for my character in from this book. Would I use this book in a game I run? Absolutely, and I have. This book has a lot of information for your ships and how to build new ships, which is always useful in a game. Would I recommend this book? Full-heartedly, yes, I would recommend this book. If you're going to have a lot of ships in your game, which hopefully you do, given that it's a space opera, you would definitely have a lot of good stuff to glean from this book. New ideas, new ways to build your ships and put them together, and so forth. All in all, it would definitely enhance your game. And that's pretty much all I got to say for Starships of the Galaxy for now. Thank you for joining me. I had a look at this book, and hopefully you'll join me next time when we'll talk about something else. Bye.